They looked at organic coatings, didn't last long enough, weld overlay, overkill for the scenario, but they put our coatings into the both of those units. Now it's been six years, they're operating perfectly under inspection. My name is Larry Emsch, I work for IGS, and I'm director of the Thermal Efficiency Group. I have a great example of a global energy company, and we've worked with them for over a decade now. We introduced ourselves to them at one of their smallest sites. They had a very special problem in a crude heater, and they had hot spots on their tubes, and we had just recently came up with a technology where we could remove those hot spots while the heater's online. They showed us what their hot spots were, we took our tooling in, and we actually did that job for them. And that brought them the freedom to not have an unplanned shutdown, to not have a safety moment, to not have hot spots they couldn't deal with. Two years later, sister site. Now, in the SMR, which is a whole different scenario for production, what's critical there is the convection section. Convection sections are notorious for fouling over the years and not really being paid much attention to. We had just come out with an online cleaning method for convection sections, so we went to them first. And so we did that work for them, cleaned the convection sections, got them out of uh, headwinds of production that was hurting them because of all the fouling. So now this customer has momentum with our technologies. They've got a trust with us that we're doing things safely. We're doing them on time, it's efficient, and they're actually getting all the benefits that they were expected to have. The biggest part of our product line is coatings. So they bring us in and we look at an aiming column, channel head, and another unit. We did both of those jobs at the same time. High velocity thermal spray. This is all about corrosion in critical vessels. They looked at organic coatings, didn't last long enough, weld overlay, overkill for the scenario, but they put our coatings into the both of those units. Now it's been six years, they're operating perfectly under inspection, and they continue to look for places to put high velocity thermal spray across their fleet, because now it's part of their ongoing training and sharing information. We actually have two coating families. The other family coating is C-Tech. The ceramic coating brings in a whole nother level of performance improvements for other fired heaters. They took us to their smallest unit, a small HDS unit, so they used our tube and refractory coating in that heater first. Perfect fit for them. They got another six years of nice production out of it, protected the tubes from aging. The refractory got more energy out of it. Now, if you look at our relationship, they've actually taken those same ceramic coatings and putting them in critical fleet units. As a matter of fact, they've gone so far as under the revamp umbrellas, when you're looking at retubing, rebuilding, revamping, they bring our process engineers in to sit at the table when they talk about upgrading metallurgy, expanding the convection section, improving draft, burners, and what else can we do with the coatings? Can we get more throughput out of it? What kind of emission reductions? Because that's also part of today's scoring. So if you think about a 10-year relationship, that's a perfect story for how a customer tried us, worked with us, took, took small risks, online repairs, and now incorporate all of the IGS solutions across their entire fleet.